Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Yak, th thanks for coming today to testify, and, and uh, I want to echo my colleague's comments about the people he represents and just say that uh, how thankful we are that uh, the Technical Center is there and they're doing great work, and please extend, uh, extend that uh, on to them on my behalf as well. Um, so either for you or uh, Mr. Gibson, if you could uh, help me out a little bit in explaining how the FAA's current lines of business coordinate together uh, to in our quest to integrate uh, drones uh, safely into the into the airspace. How does that currently work? Uh, thank you, Congressman. Uh, if I understood your question, uh, across lines of business within yeah. the FAA? Right, within the FAA, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I think it works well. Uh, we can always improve uh, things, but uh, when I first arrived in September of 15, uh, at that time, the Deputy Administrator, Mr. Whitaker, and myself uh, sat down after I had uh, uh, observed for a couple months that I thought uh, there could be better balance uh, within the, the headquarters as far as uh, moving the uh, technology forward. We'd been uh, uh, <coughs> focused on the vehicle and the, and the designs, and we, uh, we needed to bring the operators and folks on board uh, to include training and awareness. So we have uh, since established what we call a UAS board, which is attended by all the lines of business and the senior folks uh, and conducted by the deputy, sometimes the administrator himself, to tee up key issues and focus just on UAS. So I think, uh, I think we made a lot of uh, progress over the last 12 months. So what would, what would be the next step then? Well, uh, I think uh, we continued continue that process of awareness and integration across the headquarters. I think the other piece that we're doing, uh, really two, one is federal integration. So uh, I actually chair uh, a, an activity called the UAS XCOM. It was established in 2009 language. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's quite robust now. We've added a number of membership, uh, memberships to include the National Security Council, uh, Office of Science and T Technology Policy, but also uh, the industry. And uh, we have pushed out, as you may or may not know, the, the DAC, the Drone Advisory Committee, to engage with that portion. So that gives us a pretty good balance, both within the, the building, if you will, the headquarters, uh, across our federal partnerships, and then uh, engage heavily with industry. Uh, not just industry, but private sector. Yeah, so what would be, um, <clears throat> in that sense then, what, what have been the products of that work? In other words, if you're asked folks here at the other end of the table, what would they point to as the product of that work? Well, the product uh, within the building, of course, has been uh, 107 in the work that we, uh, we've begun with uh, ops over people, originally known as the micro rule, uh, some, many of the waivers, exemptions. So we have uh, we've stepped across boundaries within the headquarters. I think on the federal side, uh, I'm also uh, heading up the counter UAS or the 2206 effort. And uh, there's been countless uh, uh, efforts made there with DHS and DOD, and, and I know I have multiple meetings again next week. Our next meeting is 9 June on that. So there's been a, a clear uh, engagement on that. And then the DAC is uh, now passed its first two initial meetings, and the subcommittee has been established, and we have three working groups that are uh, working on many of the issues that no doubt interest the committee. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, Ms. Yak, I understand that the center has been involved in testing for two, probably several, but two key next-gen programs, Datacom and ADSB. Can you share what this testing has revealed? Thank you for the question. Um, uh, next-gen, uh, you talked about ADSB and Datacom, is, were those right. the That's two? Right. Uh, we're, we're very proud of, of being involved in both of those uh, programs. Uh, Datacom, uh, we do have a, a laboratory. Uh, we've been responsible for uh, developing the, uh, the uh, testing procedures on Datacom, which has been uh, what we would call an end-to-end -end, uh, process. Uh, Datacom interfaces with many, many different systems, including uh, the aircraft itself, as well as uh, ERAM, for example. So uh, the laboratory integrates uh, at, the, at the technical center with these systems, and we were able to, uh, using antennas on our, on our, um, our roof, be able to simulate the end-to-end -end, uh, testing with Datacom. So uh, that's exciting. The rollout has been going out wonderful. 
ADSB, uh, we started many, many years ago, about 2014 or so. Uh, we were involved in the research as well as the testing. Our own uh, aircraft tested the, uh, the capability. And um, uh, we were part of the rollout, and that's been a very successful rollout and is operational for, for quite a while now. Good. Uh, thank you. I yield back. Thank you. So for